Hey everyone, today is August 1st, 2015, which is Saturday, and this is going to mark my ninth month mark with no haircut at all. And uh, this month is very exciting for me because this is my last month of a single digit, and I'm going to be getting, getting to the double digits, so next month will be a 10 month mark, two digits. So it's pretty amazing right there. Um, I'm going to share with you a little bit of a, my experiences that I've had with my hair this month, some issues, and uh, some concerns that maybe y'all might have, and this might help you out. Um, for this month, I noticed that my hair was falling out, or what they call shedding, um, every time I washed my hair. Now, I wash my hair every other day. So, like, for instance, I washed my hair yesterday, I don't wash my hair today, and I'll wash it tomorrow. Which, uh, by the way, I want to excuse myself for not washing my hair and having to do it with dirty hair. I don't like to do videos with dirty hair for me. Personally, I don't like my hair dirty. I like it when it's freshly washed. But, um, yes, when you wash your hair, um, your hair, you notice that you have some a lot of hair strands in your hands. Uh, you got to remember, we lose hair on an average I believe it's 25 either 25 or 50 don't quote me but I know it's 25 for sure of hair strands a day so if you don't wash your hair and then you wash it again that's 50 strands right there or you start shedding or something like that so um, I was having dinner the other day and out of nowhere I just noticed a hair strand just falling in my plate which was mine I was like mm, my hair is falling so I decided to uh, brush my hair just a little bit more often just to kind of get rid of the loose hairs that I have in here. Um, but also, as your hair gets longer, your hair strands are longer, they're more noticeable. But uh, I feel that it shouldn't be really an area of concern because otherwise I feel like I would have been bald a long time ago. <laughs> it's just the process where um, also when you see this little flyaways, besides me towel drying my hair because I'm very bad with that but um, when you see like these little flyaways and things like that it's just new hair growing out I mean obviously if your hair never shed by the time it all decided to shed you would be bald so it makes sense um, but aside from that that's pretty much it I also decided to uh, play with my hair texture by putting uh, rollers in my hair to curl it. So if you haven't watched the video, uh, go ahead and check it out. It's me uh, showing you how I curl my hair. I look like a grandma by the end of the video. And then to top it off, I uh, show you how it progressed throughout the day. That's another video. And then I do one more video to show you the result of the next day where it's kind of more just like a wavy relaxed texture. and. Uh, for those of y'all that were telling me do not curl your hair, it's just for fun to uh, break the monotony. In fact, I wanted to um, get a perm and uh, I opted more for this option of just putting rollers in so it wouldn't be permanent and just, you know, whenever I feel like, hey, I want to have curly hair, roll that hair up and have it curly and just having fun. Um, one of my friends decided to braid my uh, bangs and she did an awesome job. She like French braided my bangs and I enjoyed it. Let me tell you, not having to mess with your bangs while you look down is amazing. If I knew how to braid hair, I would be braiding my own hair. And I don't have that on video to show how it looked, but if you want to check it out, I ended up posting pictures on my Instagram. Uh, if you want to check it out, it's Aldo1981, and I posted pictures there of how it looked when it was braided, and I really enjoyed it. I'm not much of a person to wear a headband. I mean, for me, I just don't think it would look right for me. I mean, I'm not a headband person. Um, the only time I restrain my hair is if I'm going to do long distance running, but uh, I'm not going to be one to like put it in a ponytail or like this thing, because for me, I just don't think it... It, it looks right for me um, so I just like letting it be free so aside from all that uh, let's go ahead and show you the length of the hair so here we go this is the top let me crouch down a little bit so you can see all of it 
and this is the sides. Let's do a 360, so here we go. And let's do the length check on the bangs. So this is where we are at. I am pretty much at nose tip, which is amazing. Uh, I never thought I would get to nose tip, y'all. For you, those of y'all that are barely starting your journey, it is possible to get this hair to nose tip. I've never had it to nose tip, and it is just amazing. I'm so happy for that. It's uh, for me, it's a major accomplishment, and um, don't get discouraged if you feel like your hair is not growing. For me, it took me, I want to say, the seventh month mark to kind of validate that my hair is growing. So after the seventh month mark for me, it's just been getting easier and easier. I don't think about my hair. Is it growing? Is it not? So uh, don't give up. With that being said, I want to wish everybody a great start to the month. Enjoy your weekend. And until next time, y'all take care. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.